Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Message for me, get off your fat ass. See, this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Ease. I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on the run. Mm. Well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay, hey. I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! Okay, ma'am boobs, race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running! How much gear do you need? Hello? This must be so emasculating for you. I can't believe you're cheating already! Uh, you should really think about behavioral medication. Jesus Christ! Teach rage! Firing on all cylinders! Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. And space is yours! Own it! Call the exercise, you lazy idiot! But you, you give me hope. I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit. Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy. You can run around. Oh. <sighs> Not too shabby, huh? Totally null and void. I'd have annihilated you if you hadn't taken that shortcut. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me. Screw you! You're lucky I'm tapering for a try! Stop me! Help me, sir! You're kidding! Had a change of heart. Who says chivalry is dead? I only wish more people were like you today. The Santa. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phelps is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. Jesus. What the 
hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Oh, why do you care, huh? What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. See his face that last time I popped it. Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> I have to fucking remember that one. You, where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep bastard away from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. No? You're a so. fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! <laughs> Whoa, 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 what is it? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. Because no, 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 I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. The more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo hoo 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 for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me. Watch it! Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway. Any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. 
You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Talbot. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real guns of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. Uncle Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? We're silencing someone. We're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address for Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. You're in the sausage factory, all right. Make some sausage. I, I don't know what this is about. I know Azerbaijanis, Kyrgyzstanis, Tajikistanis, whatever you want, huh? That's dangerous! You could kill me! No, no, no! I'm vibrating! Don't treat! Don't do it, please! You can't! Not the clips! Come on! Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right in the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Shumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainee's right, and it's a good exercise. Yeah, oh, fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. And you fucking know it.
This'll do. Alright. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him to up! No, please. The anticipation is always worse. Really? Uh, uh, I got brittle bone! Watch the knee! Uh, hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now you ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I'm even so, more yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No. They all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, 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 let me think. I... <laughs> Oh, Sorry, too late, oh, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won oh, today. Oh, okay. oh, baby, baby, baby. Oh. Now, if you open real wide, I might be able to just reach right back there and grab one of those big ones. I just have the blazer. Tried to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak gents. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Jumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. <laughs> He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. <sighs> Nothing to complain about here, pal. This is totally legit. I will drown. I will. I will drown. Say this. I got blood in my mouth! My mouth! I, I, I was... Oh. 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 Always by the book. Look at me, I am a genuine government 
stop it. It's done the trick. Let's get him upright. I'm alive. I'm alive. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes red books. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. Now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Shut up! That's a sport. Let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Ow. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. Alright. You got a flight to catch. Okay? Get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do! They're in the morning wood. I love them very much! No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the orders to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on.
Trevor, Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He's like family. That's it, ain't he, Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right, yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There was Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly... rightly know. What kind of person are you? Well, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We... Going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, I got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it. Floyd, what you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I always work a stick in the mud. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put brass tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether security consultant. Private army to the New World Order. My butt's gone The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil. That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No. No, they won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right, we'll take a look at that as well. Dispatch. Yeah, well no. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Here comes the soup. 
I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this could go real wrong real quick. We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. You got a strong stomach, son. in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Mary with the guys at two o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. Two. On the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now. You drive and I'll spot. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. If we don't get the containers, they're gonna check your car. I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold together. Stick to the story. You'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happened when he's neck deep in shit. I'm gonna lose my job! It's those containers! Baby! Because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. There it is. Now I guess we gotta get the other one. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you go up again. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Crane! Perfect! Oh, shoot! Just don't! And attach it! Hey! Dick you have to suck to get this job. Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. There was old friends with the... Well, with the... With the... With the say no more. You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it.
Okay, it's up to the top of the crane for me. I'm here. What do I do? First up, position the cabin over a container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. strain if you work any longer. Have a break. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy.
the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We could take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules apply to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman is one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. You're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. I've been doing this every day for ten years. Only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life. Floyd, it's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. No, spill it shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. Hey, 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 hey. You can't come through here. Restricted access. No entiendo. No understand you. Huh? Manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck you think you're going? Get back out of the back This guy don't speak English. Must have read the manifesto. He said, he said, no, he said, he about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah, of course. I, I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Merriweather at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. <laughs> what in the name of all things holy? <laughs> I, I, I tried to stop it. But it just kept coming, coming. Oh, it's a, they're there, Wade. Many, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> you, you get what you need? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. That woman ain't even fine. No one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's well, uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now! And there. Perfect. All right. So, based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security snots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. 
The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? To the cargo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal. Okay. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, Trevor, Trevor, I, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide? Huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! Ah, Trevor! Hey! Mikey! Hey, listen! Loving it here! In LS, really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow! <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> Listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with, Franklin.
Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary folks on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power, guns and anabolic steroids. <laughs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Merryweather are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. Oh, great. I look forward to that. Okay, well, that's more like it. Floyd, you there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on the crane. The surface, and I'll bring you shoreside. All right. Covered properly. It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and controlled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. You can pull up. Okay there. Oh, uh, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. The only fucking traffic he'll be worried about will be on the way to the medic. Oh shit. <laughs> Looks like we're ready to go with everything. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. What the fuck is this bullshit? We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you killed people. Here's Trevor. Gee, right! Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? No, oh, he just said how you guys were happy. Help the government any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you're good. The three cunts! Listen, we need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid! It's a major problem. And now they've secured some... funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> That's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block. Tow truck, sack them. We get some disguises, and we're gold. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. Guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man. I got you, dog. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Bite me! <laughs> <laughs> 